What's up everyone? Starscream here with episode 4 of The Rune Guide. This episode we're going to be talking about Sume, the demon warrior. There's a lot of reasons Sume is an awesome hero, and uh, let's get started with that. Alright, first, let's take a look at his traits. He has Savage Fury, which boosts his health after he gets down below 50%. 50 he has Spirit of Nature, which increases attack by 15% for all nature allies. And Vicious, which only works in PvP, but gives all buffed allied demons plus attack for one turn every time he gets a crit. Now, Sume is an awesome hero because he has tons of areas that you can farm him. Um, and his Ascension, I, I don't have them here, but his Ascension materials are pretty easy to get. So uh, players pretty much of all range can, can get him. And, uh, and star him up and get him ascended pretty early on in the game. Uh, he has some of the coolest abilities in the game, in my opinion. Um, he has Soul Shred, which we'll look at here. Uh, Soul Shred, not only does it hit everybody on the opposing team, but it also purges one buff on the opposing team. This is really awesome for like taunt removal, um, for removing any extra buffs. If you're playing campaign, it removes... Uh, other types of buffs that the uh, that the enemies might have, like burning skin and stuff like that. Uh, and in PvP, can, does the same. So can uh, can remove taunts, can remove uh, a buff like uh, attack buffs, defense buffs, defense buffs, and stuff like that. Uh, the next move he's got here is double chop, which is a pretty standard move. Uh, but but if he does have this vicious trait and you hit with two double chops plus. Um, plus he can give himself that attack crit from or attack buff from getting a crit this can be a pretty deadly move as well and also spreading panic which at the lower levels um, when I was in the, my lower levels maybe in my 30s 40s and I guess even in 50s this was a terrifying move you knew that if you're facing a defense that had sume and spreading panic was uh, was able to hit you things were gonna go pretty badly for you from that point on uh, as we all know fear allows it to do uh, a lot more damage and this hits three people so again if he's if we're on turn three he's able to use his vicious and he hits you with that things are going to go very poorly uh, for you as an attacker when he's on defense uh, he works with uh, he has great synergy with a lot of heroes uh, for example he works really well with uh, yoko and bovis because they both have a thing called here we'll sh we'll look at it right here they they both have a thing called warrior heart which increases the health uh, by 15 percent for all warrior allies uh, combine this with sume's addition to nature attack uh, makes him and bovis awesome and then with an, another 15 percent from yoko makes them very very uh, tanky and reliable i also like to mix him with willow willow has a thing uh has a thing called let me let's go up here real quick he has a thing called nature heart here she is sorry Willow has a thing called Nature Heart here, which increases health by 15% for all nature allies. So again, combine her, Bovis, Yoko, and Sume, and you have a really buffed health team. Sume is also really, really good combined with demons. I have a demon video that I did that came out before runes were a thing, uh, but it still applies even now. Uh, if you go watch one of my previous videos, maybe I'll put a link right here. Uh, in the uh, in this video to one of my previous videos called the 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 demon squad uh, it has a pretty good overview of why demons uh, work great together uh, when you use them with ella now let's take a look at, at a couple different rune setups this video i did something a little bit different than my last uh than my last video and a little bit different than zombies um, last two videos simply because i think sume is extremely versatile and has a lot of different setups that you can use for whether you're using them for a, a attack on def or a, attack on in PvP, defense in PvP, and also in campaign. He's like he can be either really really tanky to take a ton of damage. You can make him all just pure attack, and he'll have super high attack and just be a monster. First thing I'm going to go over here is his PvP offense. Now. When I use Sume in offense, I focus pretty much entirely on attack and crit. Uh, what should be on the screen right now will be his his rune card that I made for him. And I'm going to include links to these in the description so you can download them, uh, share them with your guildmates, keep them uh, for yourself for easy, easy reference. 
or or whatever and if you guys really like this is kind of a new idea of mine so if you guys like this i'll continue doing these 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 take a little while to make sometimes so i, I won't make them if if nobody really really likes them that much but if if you guys do like them let me know in the comments and i'll just make sure to keep making these for future videos now his pvp offense setup like i said is pretty much just for attack so in green we've got two power runes attack and crit and crit uh, in blue and yellow we've got precision and both of those and in purple i put another power now if you notice that sume is getting killed before you can use him you could switch uh the purple rune for a bulwark as well um and of course blue or yellow you can also switch for a bulwark as well but usually when i'm attacking i'm combining him with like bovis or something and he typically gets to get his attack off uh regardless the next thing we'll look at here is his pvp defense setup now I love Sume on defense uh, even more than I like him on attack. The reason is, if you ruin him correctly, you can ruin him to be super tanky, where an opponent might think that they're going to kill him first turn using somebody like Augustus or Astrid or something like that. But if he manages to survive but with even a sliver of health, you're not going to need any attack runes on him. He's just going to shred everybody because of his savage trait. Now, in this defense setup, I have him set up with two battle runes, uh, on green and what you want to have is to attack and have that health stat in there to increase his tankiness a little bit in blue and yellow and purple i have bulwark on all three just to kind of catch people by surprise typically they're going to think that you're going to be running uh, basically attack on sume because that's what that's what most people assume sume is there for is for attack but if you have them super ruined for defense and somebody tries to take them out and they don't they're going to be in a lot of trouble and you might catch people off guard and the last one we'll look at here is his campaign setup. Now, for campaign, great people to run him with are going to be Yoko and Bovis, like I mentioned before, but also Nub Nub. Now, the reason I say this is because for a lot of you players that might not be, you know, super ruined uh, like, like some of the top level players, you guys might need a very tanky team to survive some of the harder challenge mode um, and even boss mode uh, levels. Because of this, if you combine him with Nub Nub and Yoko, who's a taunter, and then Bovis, who automatically self-heals every turn and can also remove taunt, uh, Sume just excels and will make sure that your whole team stays alive really well. In campaign, I give him a little bit of a mix. So I give him two power runes uh, so that he has as much attack and crit as possible with those two runes, and the rest I just keep bulwark. Um, you can also change blue, yellow, or purple into something like crit or purple you could put into a power room to give him a little bit more attack if he's lacking there. But basically in campaign, I'm assuming that you're gonna that I'm assuming that you don't don't already have an overpowered team and need him to help you pass the campaign. And especially in lower levels, because you can farm him and have him really early on, he helps a lot with getting through really tough levels just by being a tough hero himself. Let's take a look of some, at some footage here that I have of him in PvP and of him at, in campaign. And I'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about here. In this video here, you're going to notice that I brought the team that I was talking about earlier with Willow and Sume. Uh, for the sake of the video, I made sure to keep my Bovis and my Yoko unruined and uh, just ruined my Willow and my Sume. This was just so that I could showcase uh, the hero's power themselves without just having an overly ruined team. Actually, the only person that I have really ruined right now is Willow. Even my Sume is not ruined very well at the moment. You'll notice that they're able to survive a ton of damage even though they're most likely facing a very ruined team. Next here, we're going to look at my campaign setup. This is the one that I was talking about earlier. Basically, the idea here is to not, it's not going to be the fastest team in the world, but it's going to make sure that you get through the whole level without losing very much health. Again, right now, I only have runes on Sume. I don't have runes on any of my other heroes in this campaign level here. We'll skip forward to towards the end of the video, 
and you'll notice that I still have not really taken much damage here. We get to the boss, and even at the boss, we beat it with relative ease. And this is a, one of the later levels in challenge mode as well. So beating challenge mode with no runes except on Sume. Uh, if you guys have runes you and you use the same team, you'll be able to just smash through this level. But these are all heroes here that you can get really early on, so some of you lower level players will be able to benefit from this team as well, which was kind of the idea behind this video. In PvP, you're going to want to use Sume against either lots of water heroes or heroes that tend to buff their team, uh, giving them attack buffs or something like that. I don't use Sume too much anymore in PvP, uh, but when I used to use him a lot, I used to use him a lot to remove things like taunt and uh, heroes that, that buff uh, their teams. Uh, I definitely, definitely would avoid using him against, obviously, all fire teams and against, I would say, Furnace or teams with heroes that can kill him very easy, such as Emily, Astrid, or Augustus. But that should be that should be a given. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're going to decide what the next episode will be on this week uh, based on comments and popular demand. So, of course, like last time, let us know in the comments below who you'd like to see, and we'll get started on those. I apologize that this took a little bit longer. Uh, than, than anticipated, but that was because this last Halloween event took up a ton of our times, and we just had um, a lot of stuff going on in real life as well. Let me know if you liked those cards. I'm going to leave those in the description. I'm going to leave links to those images in the description. Uh, feel free to do whatever you'd like with those, and I hope they help. Let me know if you liked them, and I'll keep doing those for the next pre, uh, for the for the upcoming episodes as well. As always, thanks for thanks for watching. Subscribe, like. I'll talk to you guys soon.